I found these side tables with storage at different times but they kind of have the same shape and design to them. And I'm wondering if I can paint them as a matching set. What do you think? Let's give it a try. And just like any other project, I start by removing the hardware, taking the drawers out, thoroughly vacuuming inside and out and washing it with a good degreaser. In this case, I'm using Dawn dish detergent with warm water. I rinse it off with clean, fresh water to remove any soapy residue. And then I'm drying it off and putting the pieces in the sun. So I came indoors and I started discussing these two side tables with the 220 grit pad. By hand, after all, there's no damage on these pieces. I'm just wanting to roughen up the surface to give the primer and paint some teeth to hang on to. And I'm vacuuming it up as I go. I started to dust off the pieces and prime it. I'm using Zinzer Bin Shellac Base Primer because one of the pieces I can tell will be a bleeder. When I'm finished rolling it, I like to lightly, no pressure at all, smooth out the roller marks. Sometimes you'll get lines where the edge of the roller was. So if you just lightly go over it with very little to no pressure, you'll be able to smooth most of them out. Both pieces were primed with the Zinzer Bin Shellac Base Primer. I did take the feet off of that one, brought it outside and used the spray can version to prime them. The primer is dry and feels a little rough like light sandpaper. That's normal. I'm going to be using a 220 grit foam abrasive pad to lightly and very quickly sand it smooth. You want your primer coat to be smooth because if it isn't, when you apply paint, the paint won't look smooth either. I ran out of Zinzer Bin that I was rolling on. So I went and I bought a can, almost $21. That's crazy but I am putting a second coat on with that spray can. It's going much faster, but I did want to show you why I thought we'd have some bleed through because we do. You could see along that line all the way down, it's turning pink. That's bleed through. So I'm going to put on two coats. Hopefully that'll do it. It's paint day. I'm ready to paint the side tables. I've started to take them outside. Now, paint's expensive these days, yes? Mm -hmm. So I got a little thrifty with this one. We'll see how, the, how this works out. I was at a thrift store recently and I found some Sherwin-Williams paint in the original containers. They were two colors. Uh, they were only a dollar a container. So I'm gonna give it a try. If I'm saying this correctly, one of the colors um, was Killam Beige, which is a very, very light tan. The other one was Big Chill, which was slightly gray. And so I've mixed the two together, equal parts. I'm gonna go ahead and stir it up, filter it into my sprayer, thin it with water, and then head outside. I decided for the first coat, I would paint them with the drawers out. When it's time to do the second coat, I'll put the drawers back in and do them together.
they look amazing today. I don't see any sign of bleed through. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray a second coat of paint on it. Off camera, I sprayed a coat of Varathane's Polycrylic in matte. I'm going to lightly sand the top just to get off any little tidbits that might have landed in that top coat. I'll wipe off the dust and I'll spray the second and last coat. This project has been so much fun for me. When I saw this end table, bedside table, on Facebook Marketplace for free, I had to get it right. But what do you do when you don't have a matching set? So it was serendipity just a week or two later when this one was posted on Facebook Marketplace by somebody else for $40 because I thought, gosh, they're the same height. They have the same shape at the top with kind of a hidden drawer. They both had these handles here. Um, they both have intricate designs. Now this particular table had these drop hardware pieces at the top. I went to Hobby Lobby and was shocked to find these. They're almost an identical match to this one. Let me know what your thoughts are on this particular project. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time. Mm -hmm.